Afternoon YouTubers, Carlos again here from my Make It Custom channel. Uh, gonna give you a what's going on or what's gonna happen. Uh, these heads right here, they're gonna go away. I just placed the order on uh, rebuilt heads coming out of eBay. They'll be here within uh, two weeks. These are gonna be cores. I just don't wanna deal with them. Um, price was good, can't complain. Uh, so moving on, right now I'll be working on lifters, engine lifters. I'm gonna. I've been taking them apart, cleaning them. So basically, I'm just gonna show how do you take them apart, clean them, get all the gunk out of them, and you can still reuse them. They're not bad. Um, so let's go ahead and start this. All right. So now I have this set up already, and the way uh, basically this is the uh, lifter that came out of that 5.3 2000 Chevy Silverado. It was gunked up full of gunk it was oily it was the wheels weren't spinning so I managed to clean them up take them apart and I just dipped them in oil that way they can stay lubricated but this is how I went about it it's got a clip on up top I'm just gonna undo the clip I did end up putting my thumb because when I did it first time the clip ended up flying out and um, that wasn't good I had to go hunt for it so again put my thumb in place and just start taking the clip out and uh, I'm just going to take one um, lifter apart, that way at least you have an idea. Basically this is this is what it is, as simple as that. This is a little plate with a little retainer. Inside, oh it's going to make me look bad now, let's see. Alright so here we go again, you just kind of push everything out, it should come on on its own there you go there should be a spring that goes in here there you go there's a spring okay and that's what this is that's what the lifter entails um so all there is just a spring lifter here's the bearing it spins freely so if it's good what it is it gets gunked up in here and it doesn't go up and down as free but see, as you can tell, this is working, so this is good. But again, I did clean it, so this is where the, the spring gets retained in there. And we're just going to assemble it back together. Simple, see? See, that's already springing in there. Then you have this little spacer. Place it in there. You put this little where the push rod is going to go in. Goes in there. And then just compress it. Now, the trick to this one is, basically, is the clip. That's fun. Um, sometimes I've gotten it first shot, but we're going to give it a shot. See if it works out. I've gotten the hang of it. I did all 16 of them. Oh, look at that. I got it. Hey, You too can rebuild uh, lifters. And if there's nothing wrong with them, you don't see any chunks missing. But if they don't spin freely, like this one, it wasn't spinning kind of free. It spins, but there's a little resistance to it. And you can just tell that it's grimy in there, in between the needle bearings inside that. You can't quite see them, but they're in there. Needle bearings. So, that's how you take them apart and put them together. So, I went ahead and decided uh, to go buy brand new uh, valve lifters. Uh, that way they're reliable. And look how nice and shiny they are by the brand Elgin brand look at that love it so with that it was a good deal I ended up spending uh, somewhere in the neighborhood about 80 bucks and this is this will do one head you'll get uh, eight lifters and then you get uh, eight push rods but since we have the heads coming uh, sometime next week or a week after by the way they're from a local shop in Florida um, out of Tampa uh, and they were able to sell through eBay so they might get here within the week so that's what I'm recommending that's what I'm going to install in my 5.3 uh, 2000 Silverado truck engine uh, with 127,000 miles original so these lifters are basically 127,000 miles um, I'm just going to go with new and uh, I'm just going to go and install them now so the next um, this time you see these, they're going to be in the tray and they're going to get installed in the engine. Uh, and, and I got the tray ready, ready to go. Good thing about these trays is, 
they have a notch that they only fit see you can't you can't spin them out and that way so they can guide through on the cam so I'm just gonna go over to the engine and install these and then just gonna wait for the heads all right so here we are we're at the uh, engine and here I just kind of dip them in oil I'm old school that way some people say you don't have to put them in oil I like to anyways just for them to slide easier in the engine so here we are we're putting in the last eight of them I already did uh, one side I just didn't want to show a whole video and just installing all of these but just to show how simple they can be once you get them they only go one way there's no way of screwing these up there you go and there's a 10 millimeter bolt I like to put them back in there and it's placed there so I don't lose it and I know where it goes there you go. I'm going to grab the other one out it's an actually 6 millimeter but it's a 10 millimeter head and here we go I'm just going to install them in here into this look at that beautiful here comes the other one That's it, that's all there is to it. Now I just gotta wait for the heads and uh, gaskets. I already got the gasket, head gasket. Just waiting for the heads so they can uh, get installed, start looking more like an engine. The rebuild is gonna have, uh, they were hot tanked, three uh, angle valve job, new springs, new valve guides. So, 10 millimeter socket. I just kind of snug them. What I'll do is I'll find the torque setting and then I'll just torque it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Alright guys. I'll keep you posted. Until I get my new heads. You're going to see the rest uh, continuing.